Hey you guys, so here we have the real Ghostbusters, Winston Zeddemore. Woo! Finally, I got hold of one of these. Um, I've been looking in shops for these for ages. Um, deluxe action figure with accessories and diorama pieces. Um, real Ghostbusters was a big thing in my childhood. Um, I loved these toys when I was a kid. I was always annoyed that the, the proton packs weren't quite right and the ghosts were a bit eh, but other than that, I love the figures. Um, so when the Diamond Select said they were doing these, it was I, I gotta buy. Um, yeah, so there we have him in his packet. We have image on the side there with the Ghostbusters logo at the bottom. On the back, also available, um, Egon, Slimer. They didn't have Egon, they had Slimer. Slimer's a very weird scale. He seems very small. But then he has to be because these, you know what I mean? It was when I'm like, hmm, don't know whether I want one of them because, yeah, really wanted Egon, didn't have any. So uh, collect all 15 figures in series 6 and 10 to build the firehouse doorways. Um, I'm not really fussed for building the firehouse doors, so those pieces are probably going to be sat somewhere being unused. Uh, on the back here it says Winston Zeddemore was raised in a religious household but he never believed much in the supernatural before he came to work for the Ghostbusters. Brought on board to help the team's four founding members deal with a suspicious spike in paranormal activity, Winston reliability provided the extra manpower that was needed. His enthusiasm for the job faltered slightly when he was arrested with the other Ghostbusters under suspicion of causing an environmental disaster but the team was vindicated and they repelled an increase in incursion into dimension by the Sumerian god Gozo. This seven inch action figure is based on the animated series The Real Ghostbusters and features multiple points of articulation as well as accessories and a diorama parts. It was designed by Yuri Timming and sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. There we go, that's the back. All stuff down there at the bottom, Diamond Select, Ghostbusters, Sony Pictures, Ghost Corps, uh, Comic Shop, Locator Service, etc. Manufactured by Diamond Select. Yeah, there we go. Uh, no artwork on that side, nothing on that side, and nothing on that side. So, let me see how we get into this. Um, I'm going to go with peeling this side off. Okay, maybe that didn't work. I wish they would put all these figures in boxes that you could open without ruining them. Do. Push that down there. Why you it's sun taped? There we go. And, and that end. So down around the base, I guess. Hook and ladder sign. And Here he is in all his glory. So we get a, a PK meter, a trap, four sets of hands plus the two he's already wearing, and a proton pack. Yep, mm, it's one of them. Cable ties. You see, this is why other people do these in multiple takes, and I do them in one. Doop -doop -doop -doop. There we go, you can actually see me doing some. Uh, right. Any more tags? We've got some tags on his feet, but I'll we'll swap them up. In a moment, some of his wrists. So, yeah, Ghostbusters, the film was very big for me, and uh, the animated series that I was blown away by. Okay. The only problem is you can't really buy it on DVD over here. Um, so, I guess, I, I don't know, I keep looking at American copies of it, but I'm, I'm never sure. I know it's on Netflix, but because it was a really good series. There we go. Remember, kids, don't play with sharp objects. So there we have one Winston Zedmar. It would have been nice if they'd put his thing on, but apparently they spelled his name wrong in the animated series. Uh, so shall elbow pads move around? That moves up, and there we go. A bit of articulation there. That needs moving around. Oh, not too far. Not too much movement in their elbows. So face, pretty good. Outfit. I don't know whether that's right, but still. 
Well, at least the right shade of blue, but it's... Mm, articles on his belt. Knee-wise, we have articulation goes that way, articulation that goes out a little bit, back a little bit. We have knees that go all the way up and all the way back again. Um, no foot swivel, a little bit of swivel either side and toe pointing and up and down. Yeah, so usual stuff there. Yeah. Does he stand? Kind of in an action man pose. You see, the, the problem is the backpack's heavy. Oh, backpack. There we go. Proton pack. A little bit of Mac on there, but still. Not a bad rendering of it. That'll help. I've always wanted to build one of these, the animated series one. Because it's a lot easier. Um, now that must go on that way around. I guess. Like that. Really hold it. Holds that end. And there we go. Well, it's pretty good. I'm starting to think this table's not level. See, the problem is they've curved his foot. Oh! Which means he's already falling over, if you know what I mean. Because there's nothing to support his foot. So I guess he's going to be a blue attack job. Right, I'm going to put him down there. Get rid of that, because that's about as much use as a chocolate ashtray. Have the extra hands, which I don't really need to show you. They're just gloved. And we'll see what the trap looks like. the PKE meter. Oof, and there we go. So there is the PKE meter, which is it's different than it was in the in the movie, but that is the animated series version. Um a little bit of warpage in there but I'm sure I can straighten things out a bit. Yeah, not a bad. I mean, some of the paint apps on the back there, look at that. They missed a bit. But still, not so bad, I suppose. Let's see if it fits on his belt there. And the trap, which has a cable on it, which has got a bit of a kink in it there, but still. Yeah, not bad. Representation of a trap, I suppose. It feels like they were going to put a wheel in it there and they didn't. There's a thing that you press on the end, which obviously don't look into the trap. I looked into the trap. Doesn't work. That's going to worry me because that's going to break. Where well, it's been folded. Eesh. So, um, so I guess these things hook onto him because it's got like a peg and thing on there. So there must be somewhere that it goes on the. All ah, right, so I guess that's what the hole in the bottom is for. Is that what that's for? The trap to peg onto? Where's the box? Uh, doesn't really show you the box. No. All right, okay. So the pack does, <laughs> that goes in the other way around. Right. So all in all, not a bad figure. I just wish he'd nobody move we did it we got my stand up yay there we go so there we go one winston zedmore or zedmore depends how you say it not a bad figure i suppose 25 quid yeah it's not bad i suppose i've always wanted these figures so i, I will be buying them there will be no problem there yeah Actually, it had. Okay. I thought it had like some proton stream with it, but unless I've dropped it. Well, hang on, hang on a minute. Hang on. Stop your running and drop your linen. Ah. 
we have Proton Stream, which is, I don't know, why are we supposed to connect it to the end of there? Because there isn't a peg on that, is there? No, I haven't broken it off. So I guess all you do is go, Ooh, look at that. he's shooting his laser. He's shooting his proton. Because it ain't going to set on there, is it? Yeah. We just really want the figure and it's certainly going to stand on a shelf like that, isn't it? Yeah. So there you go. That is Winston Zedmore. Um, I say, I think it's quite a good little figure. I like the proton pack. I'm looking forward to getting the rest of the set. Yeah. So, if you've enjoyed this video and you like what you see and you've enjoyed it, like I said, <laughs> I'm repeating myself, um, like, share and subscribe. Subscribe really, 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 really helps. We're getting there. But if I'm going to keep buying these action figures, I need you guys to subscribe so that one day YouTube will actually pay me. <laughs> right. So that's it. Yeah. There he is. I hope you all have a great day, a great night. And who are you going to call? Yeah, Ghostbusters.